one again uh, mindset because you are uh, used to believing that uh, poor people will always be there. This is a destiny of human being. Uh, so if you believe that this is a destiny of human being, that poor people always remain with us, then poor people will never disappear because you created that world in your mind. That's what you can. But if you can change it somehow, they say, no, there's no reason why anybody should be poor. Uh, this world should be a world where there's nobody should be poor. And if you believe in it, that's the kind of world we'll create. If you believe you can go to the moon, you get there. You say, oh, it's impossible to get there. You'll never get there. Because anything that you want to achieve, first you have to imagine and believe in it. If you imagine something and believe in it, it will happen. So today, the first barrier, you don't believe in it. And you created the world in a way which is consistent with your imagination. So you brought the welfare program. Welfare program is again is based on the imagination that poor people will be with us. So we have to take care of them. So you take care of them. You don't think they should get out of it. So welfare law doesn't assume that you should get out of it. So you create a place where you remain there. If you believe that everybody should be out, we should be creating a different kind of welfare law where all our efforts would be to get you out as fast as possible. Today, that's not the case. So you go piece by piece, you see the same reflection in many things. We design the world assuming that this will happen, this will, we have to take care of this. Uh, so it's the first thing to change the mindset, and the next is to redesign the world. Like one conclusion that I come to always, that. Poverty is not created by poor people. There's nothing wrong with the poor people, absolutely nothing. They are as creative human being, as energetic human being as anybody else in the world. Then who created poverty? Poverty is created by the system that we developed, institutions that we created, policies that we pursued. That's what created poverty. So we have to go back, redesign an institution like banking institution, for example. It doesn't lend money to everybody. So uh, that's the reason we had to create another kind of banking. And our banking is just the opposite of the conventional banking. Conventional banks go to the rich, we go to the poor. Conventional banks go to the men, we go to the women. Conventional banks assume that you have to know everything about your business. You have to be an expert. And once you can convince them you are an expert, then they'll give you money. We said anybody can do business. Even if you have never done business in your life, you can do business. So everything, piece by piece, you see this is the reversal of the conventional system. But it still it works. And it works, I would say, better than the conventional system. Uh, so here is a key piece. Then you look at other things like the business. Business is to make money. I said, who oh, said that business always has to be to make money? Why can't we create a business to do good? And it's in our heart. We want to do that, but the theory doesn't allow us to do that. So I said, let's put this into our theory. There will be two kinds of business. One, to business to make money, another business to do good to people, without any intention of making personal benefit out of it. He said, benefit to the society. That's what the purpose of the business. Once we include that, lots of the problem can be resolved through social business, business to do good. Today is missing, we need to include that. That's what the uh, institutional changes, theoretical changes that we need to do. So those are the things which will remove the barriers so that people can come uh, out of poverty. People are condemned to poverty. Poverty is a kind of a imprisonment for people. So we have to open the door of the prison so that people can walk out and be normal human beings and so that we can create a world without any poverty at all. Nobody will be a poor person because it's not in the person. It's imposed on the person. 